All right, welcome back everyone. Well, working on the old engine today. Uh, got this connecting rod set up in the sawhorse here. And I got my slug built. Now this slug is a couple thousandths undersized compared to the crank journal. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin that up in the in this rod here. I'm trying to get these bearings scraped in. Let me get you set up here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fit this rod to the slug. Even though this slug is a couple thousand, it's undersized compared to the rod. I want to get this scraped in. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see the shiny spots on there. So I'm about I'm down to this area here. I still have nothing touching in this area. And I got some shiny spots there. I'm down to about here. So from here to here. Let's see, from here to here, I'm basically not touching. Let's just get this scraped in real quick. If I can get you in focus. Just hit the high spots. There's that side. This is a lot easier than putting this rod cap on, spinning the crankshaft over in the engine. You're spinning the whole engine. A lot of work. So then I just take a piece of uh, sandpaper and hit them spots that I kind of blend them in a little bit. Anyway, my thought process is if I can get this rod fitted to the slug when I put it in the engine, I'll only have a minimal amount of work to do. You know, hopefully I can get it real close to the slug and then put it in the engine and hopefully it'll be close enough. Then I'll put the slug back in there and do it over again. As you can probably imagine, this is a lot less work than doing it on the crank itself. Well, here we go. We got some. You can see the shiny spots. Still nothing there. Got some more spots here. I got to hit. So that's that. My plan was to originally with the slug. I wanted to do um, copy the crankshaft dimensions, but. I should have got a bigger piece because it doesn't cover down here. This has got to be poured too, so I'm going to have to make some washers or something to go around that right here. The other problem is, is my compound here will only spin a 5 inch piece over the compound, so it's kind of limited to what I could do anyway. So that's the story with that. It's a hot, miserable day out here. Not getting much done. I guess when I get the slug fitted to the rod, then 
this uh, cap is going to go on here. I'll be able to put my shims and bolts in there and pour that cap. But I got quite a bit of work to do before I get to that point. So, talk to you later.